Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. And we may have placed an order with Diamond Art Club. Um, this is purely Megan's fault um, and the fault of somebody on the Facebook group. But only because um, she absolutely fell in love with one of the paintings um, and it was out of stock at first on Diamond Art Club. As soon as it came back into stock, she really, really wanted one. So we gave in um, and she ordered the Diamond Art Club one that she wanted. We then, of course, if Megan's getting one, I want one. Um, it's sort of the rule. So I chose a painting um, from Diamond Art Club. And then we did use the code that, that they have available on Facebook to basically buy two and get one free. So Megan chose another one um, that she wanted. So I'm going to show you all of them. But let's start with the culprit. So this is the one that Megan really, really wanted. This one is a square diamond painting. Um, she does prefer greatly to work on squares, um, more so than rounds, whereas I'm a bit in between the two. I actually like both for various different reasons. Um, but it does come with their toolkit. I'll only sort of open one. I think there is a difference between which, what you get, depending on whether it's round or square. Um, but on the square toolkit, you get a magic applicator, which is what they call the pen, um, a comfort grip, you get two wax pads, which are in hearts, the craft tray, you get one multi-placer, which in this case looks like a four. Yes, it's a four placer. And you get a set of tweezers. You do also then get some of these cheap flimsy baggies in there as well. So that is the toolkit. Ugh. So let me get all those bits back in there. These kits will have to go back into their box until we're ready to do them because I can't store the diamond somewhere else, it's too full. Um, they do include a sticker, um, which basically shows you that it's the, the square and the size, which in this case is 51 centimeters by 71, and it's a King's Path by Jojo's Art. Um, and they do that to help um, with your kits. So you can either place it in a, a log book, if that's what you have. If you did put them into the bags, like I store the diamonds in often, you could put it on that bag, or you could put it on the end of the box, maybe. Because if you stored them that way, um, you can't actually see. I don't think it has it on either end. So it doesn't have it on that flat. No, it doesn't have it on the bottom. They actually put it on here. Well, if you store in them stacked, you might not be able to see what it is, so you could actually place that on there so that you can see it from a distance. I like that feature. There are so, there are a few points to Diamond Art Club that make you think, okay, that's why, you know, they're a bit more, but they do have that little kick. Um, so this one has 30 colours with AB, uh, two AB by the looks of it. So it has two ABs, which is number one and number two on the simple chart. But this is the image. She absolutely loves that image. Um, she's got a bit of 310 to go, but you know, she doesn't as much mind when it's a square and when it's an image she loves. But yeah, we do get drawn to those paintings. Um, when I show you the one that I chose, I chose something that didn't, that wasn't primarily black on purpose. Um, but this is the canvas. And now it is going to, you're going to have to tilt your head um, just because it won't fit in otherwise. But look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Um, and all these little single dots here um, that you can sort of see to the side, pretty much all of them. But most of them, um, especially the lighter ones, are AB. 
so the AB is really going to scatter through this painting and then we've got a section sort of a full section of AB behind the little lying cup that's AB um, these are AB the scatterings of AB through here and then of course we've got the single number one all the way around the outside and then we've got some ABs here as well scattered through the lion and that is one thing that Diamond Art Club do very well apart from being a really really nice quality canvas and normally a nice quality diamond as well is they do the scattering of AB is normally really really good now I'm not going to pull all the diamonds out but I do want to see if I can see what the ABs are so this is going to be fun because I'm going to try and get them back so one of them is more of a cream so that's more of a cream AB that is number 141 which is the second AB and that's the first AB so it's a bit more of a greeny colour with the AB coating on. There's not a huge amount of AB in this um, but it is scattered throughout. Now I've got to try and get them back in um, but that's sort of the colour palette. There is a lot of black. One, two, three, four. There are four packets of black and then there is a couple of, there are a few packets of 939 as well. So, not drastic. What's 939 tea? Okay. So, it does look as though on, on this sort of edge, there's sort of a line here where it goes, and it is um, merged in properly, but there's sort of this line round here where this side of it is, is black. And then this next batch here is actually 939 before it then goes into the other colours. So I'm sure she's going to have great fun doing this because it is the, the strikingness of it. Let's see if I can get most of it that way. But look at it, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, this was the painting that caused us to go shopping. And then... Because it is getting shipped from America, there is the cost, you know, the cost of shipping and stuff, as we all know, can be, you know, a high cost when it comes to it. Um, oh, this came in a bag. I'm trying to sort of put it back so that I don't, there's, there's only so many things I can dump all over the side and try and put back later. Let's put those in there as well, because I think they'll be safer in there. She says, if she tries to get them back in there. I've got to try and get it back in the box yet, because I don't have space to store the drills separately. Normally, whenever I've unboxed a diamond art club, I tend to just keep the diamonds out and just put the canvas back in the box, because it is a poured glue. It can handle being in the box and all rolled up quite easily. Oh, there we go. It's gone back in. It's gone back in. Um, I don't know if the toolkit wants to go back in. No, we'll leave the toolkit out. Because we don't tend to use that toolkit anyway. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. So, because we had been shopping, because of the price of stuff... Um, and shipping and stuff from the States. If we're going to ship, then I want something as well. Now, when it comes to Diamond Art Club, I do tend to shop purely for the image. Um, I want, if I'm, if I'm spending money on a diamond painting, I want to be able to enjoy doing the image. Now, I love, absolutely love the Mandy Manzano images. Really do. Love the minion love that I'm in the middle of at the moment. Um, but, and that one I did actually order on its own, I did discount code instead, <coughs> but I wanted to try a different artist. Now, the only picture that was in stock that I really, really liked the look of was this one, and it is in a round, and I did want a square, ideally, um, 
because I haven't done a square since I had that disappointing square. Um, but overall, I went for image instead. And I went for Mother Earth. Um, and this one is by Hannah Lynn. Yes. So this one is by Hannah Lynn. And it was the colours and stuff. And I was just like, you know... Yeah, I want the colours. Um, so this one actually has 53 colours and it has two ABs. Uh, Say so it is in a round rather than a square. And that's the only thing. They don't give the option of both at Diamond Art Club. They tend to do one or the other. Um, we have had a quick look at the canvases, which is why the bags are open. Megan was just a little bit excited. Um, even though she's not finished Tinkerbell yet. But just look at the colours on this one. This is what drew me to it. Now, it does still have a lot of outline in 310. But I don't mind when it's an outline. And I think it's because I just do that black. And then I'm filling in little block sections. And it's quite nice. Um, let's see if we can open this one. Oh, I think I picked, ended up picking the dearest one of them all. And like that. Um, so the round toolkit is slightly different in the fact that you just don't get tweezers. So you get the pen, you get the grip, um, you get two lots of wax, you get a tray and you get a multi-placer um, and then you get those, yeah well it looks like those cheap baggies again. Um, you don't get tweezers with a round diamond painting but look at those colours aren't they? See, that's what I bought it for, for that pop of colour. So there is still, I think I've got about five bags of black, so a bit more than Megan because it is on all this outline, but when I get to a section I'll do all the black and then I feel like I'm filling some little gaps. So I really don't mind when it's scattered like that. I'd much prefer that than the way Megan's black is. What are my ABs? Okay, so one of my ABs is white, or close to being white. You can see it there. That's an AB. And then I have a blue AB. So that is 136 in an AB. Um, and they do quite often, the AB symbols that Diamond Art Club put in tend to be like the number one, the number two. I think they use the number three when there's three of them. I'll have to check my minions. Um, but it makes it quite easy to spot because I don't think any of my other symbols are numbers. So for number one, which seems to be the blue, there's, there's like just the odd little scattering of it around here um where else is it there's a little scattering down here there's the odd little scattering in places around here um at the number one there's there's little bits here little bits here so in all sort of the blue sections there is just a little scattering of ab's there's quite a bit more around here a little bit over here we got any over this side yet there's a little row of it here it's sort of scattered through enough there's a there's a row or two here that just do really make it pop and um, there's a few up here so it's not too many um but i do find that there is a, say a really nice amount to just draw your attention to it so for the number two, for the white, all these white bits here in her, in her stomach, they are AB. All these white bits in sort of the waterfall on her dress are AB. Um, there's a little bit over here on the tree where you can see this white. And then there's a bit up round by the moon. It's just, there is just, it's... They just scatter it in places, and they do do that really, really well. Um, all things said, I may have been disappointed with Mama Knows Best. Um, but so far, the Minions, I really like it. And you can't argue with their charting. Their charting is good. Um, so this one is 56 centimetres by 76. And this one is 
say by Hannah, Hannah Lynn. I'm actually going to combine this in as well. I'm going to save myself struggling. I've put the toolkit in there, which I forgot to do with Megan's, and I might fight to get that in after. For now, I'm just trying to keep myself as straight as possible. And then I'll show you that the other one, say that some things have been out of stock for quite a bit. I do believe they're moving warehouse. I think I heard that they were moving warehouses. So the stock got low for that to be able to take place. I say that's something I've heard, not something directly from them. But um, these actually only took a week to arrive, less than a week. Um, and then the other one that Megan chose is sort of our free one. Again, we've got a square toolkit with the tweezers. It's got a lot of black again, but Megan does like the cosmic look. Let me get the sticker so you can. So again, it comes with the two stickers, one for labeling it up. That might be nice to use when I actually put it into a case when we kit it up. Um, this one has 34 colors. No AB though. This is a square, but there's no AB in this one. I wonder if she knew that. Um, but it was the Cosmic. It was another one she was just drawn to. So she needs to deal with the black. I know which one she'll want to do first. She'll want to do that lining one first. But I think the actual canvas of this and the canvas that you unroll looks better than the picture. Like, the picture looks good, but when you see it on that canvas, it does just pop a little bit more. I don't know what it is. Um, there is a lot, a lot of black though. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maybe? About, from what I can see, about nine packs of 310. Um, but then there is quite an, a, a lot of other colour. I think that the black on this is concentrated around this outside, along with 939s. So I think she definitely needs to start on this side of the painting um, and get some of those 310s done before she gets to this side and start seeing that colour come through. It's a shame there's no AB, um, just because I do think that extra little bit of, of AB can, I don't know, it can, it can just make a difference. Um, but yeah, that is the third painting that we chose to get. Um, this, in effect, was the free one. Um, so... I don't know when Megan will get to it. Megan is, um, Megan doesn't get to diamond paint anywhere near as much as me. Um, and she tends to pick her favourite. She's trying to make herself finish the one she's got going and then not pick her favourites and let the app decide. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. As I say, she doesn't have as much time to do it as I do. But these will, will sit there until until she's ready but I wanted to share with you the paintings that we've got of course when it comes to doing them and um, I have or I will be putting this one in my app with my large diamond paintings so it'll have once I've finished the minions which I've already started um, it will be in there with other likes of the kookaburra my dreamer designs and a few other ones from fan cells and other places. Anything I class as a large painting. And I'm going to, when I finish my minions, the large painting, I'm just going to then let the app decide. So I will do this one when the time comes. But I'm sure I will enjoy it when I do. Um, Megan's may be kitted up sooner. She does have a rule that she has to finish Tinkerbell first though. So you might need to wait another year or so. We'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. 
Um, any other company recommendations are always good. We do like to make our own purchases. Of course, we are gifted some diamond paintings for other unboxings. Um, but we do like to make purchases and support this because, you know, we love diamond painting. So we need to be able to get all the goodies. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.